So, moving on to the last part of this um, upgrade series for now, because I've quite had enough of wrenching around. I do enjoy it, but um, I do feel like uh, like putting all of these upgrades to the test right now. So let's get this over with. I'll start with um, preparing the the axle itself. So what I did on the uh, front axle, uh, if you remember, um, I completely sealed. Uh, I sealed everything off as best I could. <clears throat> I'm going to do exactly the same here. This needs a bit of uh, dremeling, um, but there you go. This is my take on on how to do it. I'm going to try to cut the crap and um, and and you know get this done in the shortest time possible. So here we go. Just getting rid of this coat of paint and making sure I have an uh, the flattest possible surface so that it properly mates with the um, cover. Okay looking good. The mating surface where the locking mechanism comes is very very thin and that's exactly why I want to have some proper sealing. Just remove these splendid little beadlock wheels which are quite amazing. I say so every time. Get rid of that. Okay throw that there. Right so how does this work? This goes like so. Oh and there's a left and a right. Okay bear that in mind. Nearly there. Now I don't want to have don't want to have this press fit because I want to be able to remove it without having to suffer. Okay, that's more or less okay. Still a bit tight. Okay, that's decent. And you can take it off more or less easy. Okay, I can live with that. Now, this here is very uneven, and on the other side as well. So, get my glass pane again. My sandpaper and sand this bugger down. Almost there. Okay, that's decent. Look at that. Damn it. Okay, well, there we go, right and left, there they are. Now, if you remember, in the previous video I had a bit of trouble feeding the uh, selector cable because of this part here, so here it goes. So I'm pretty sure that uh, the paint in here is going to do the same thing. Is going to do the same thing as with the front. Makes an extra layer that stops you from pressing the uh, bearing in. Carefully get rid of that. Right, so time to get cracking on the rear axle. First, start by removing the uh, locking selector cable. And that's the first thing you have to do. There you go. And the shock absorbers on either side. I know for sure that I can file down this as well. That should be good enough. Okay. Portals. Yeah. Um. Oh, and the hop shafts stay in. Cool. Come on. 27 minutes into this rebuild, so to speak. 
nice and greasy. I like that. There it goes. Put that where it's clean and there we go. Wonderful. Now, okay, see if we can. Yes, perfect. Very nice. Shit, it's stuck halfway. Okay, that wasn't a good idea. Whoops, come back here, you. There you go. Nice press fit down to the bottom. Very nice, very nice, very nice. See, these actually fit quite loosely. Ooh, look at that. Would you look at that? That is precisely why I want mine to seal completely. See that sand from the Dusty Hill video. Don't want that inside your diff, do you? Didn't think so. Okay. Well, you learn every day. Precisely why I want to seal everything off. So you see, I'm not that crazy after all. Oh, hello. See, water has been stagnating there. And some sand has built up here. <laughs> so yeah, it was a great idea, in fact, to seal everything off. I'll keep all the innards away from the sand and go wash my hands. Right, so, yeah, um, back with uh, clean mitts. See, there's a bit of wear here, especially on the inner side of the tooth. Looks pretty even. Happy about that. Time to seal this off here. Put a tad on the mating faces right there. Okay, looking good, looking good, looking good. So here we have the left side. Here it is. Some of it all over, which is nice. And we reuse the original hardware. Yes, very good. Squishing nicely, I like that. Oh, f man, things full. Right, finally back. So moving on to the rear portals. Uh, I have already done one here, which is beautifully sealed. In fact, the whole rear axle is going to be completely and fully sealed, except for the um, the outputs. And I'll probably put a dab of silicone here as well. Now, essentially, the rear portals are the same as the front. The idea is the same at least. They contain same kind of bearings, same kind of cogs, except that the drive, instead of being a knuckle, is uh, just a direct drive from uh, from the drive shaft. Like so. Okay, and there you have it. Look at that. Wonderful. Okay, so moving on. Now we have to fit this to the axle. This will be all cleaned later on. As you can see on this one, I completely sealed all over the place. So I'm absolutely sure that there's no, that there's no possible entry for any foreign matter inside the differential case. So it's a bit messy to carry out, but I'm sure it's worth the trouble.
And there we have it. Nice and tight. And especially watertight. There we go. Job done. So, out of pure curiosity again, this weighs a whopping 380 grams. <sighs> Good girl, 380 grams. Okay, well, here it is. Fully upgraded the front and rear axles. So this makes it considerably heavier. Really looks cool as well. The rear axle is completely watertight, which is nice. The front isn't so much, but that's not a problem because I'm not such a big fan of putting it under water. Time to test it on the trail. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it very much. I hope that this video was useful to you and um, make sure you um, subscribe and leave a comment. Um, with your impressions and or ideas and I'll uh, be catching you in the next video. Thank you all guys